So this is going to be a slightly different video. This is going to be on how to play mobile games on the PC, not Discord. So basically, this is a wonderful app called BlueStacks, and there are other ones too, such as Knox Emulator, and you will essentially emulate a operating system of a phone to your computer. Uh, Bluestacks and Knox both are Android emulators. I'm not sure if there's Apple emulators. I believe there probably is, but Apple's a little more stingy with their hardware and software for whatever reason. So basically, you go to this website, you hit download Bluestacks 3N, and you just hit the download button, and you normally don't install all of the extra stuff. And here is a little video on the website of telling you how to download apps, but I am going to show you through that little process now. I only have BTD6 on this, and then, ah, that's recommended, I don't care about it, but I don't know how to hit that X, but that's besides the point. You go to the App Center, and uh, let's see, what's a game? One Piece Treasure Cruise. You search it, and you can just download it here just like you would on another Android device. And even if the picture is not the most updated, this is the most updated version. Or a, a Fun Run. That's another Android game. I'm not... Fun Run 2, huh? Or 3. Stuff like that. Basically, you just search apps that you want, or you can go to the top charts, like, and pick here, download whatever game you want. Then you go to My Apps, and you can open it, and it's got a little tab-based system because it's emulating, I guess, what is similar to a tablet. And as you can see, your game opens just like that, like it would normally, uh, as if it was on your phone device. As well as you can mess with settings such as your resolution, you can set it to 1440p, whatever the default is your DPI, what engine you want to run it in, how much memory you want to do it in, but you're restricted to one core, and only three gigabytes of RAM. But, that's okay. That is okay. Which definitely makes my 32 gigs of RAM irrelevant. And, ah, perfect. Game needs a new update. That is not the right game. And... It is now updated. All monkeys not unlocking, blah blah blah. Updates just like it would on your phone. As you can see, it downloads it as well as for some people. I don't know how well this update will work through the emulator, but it seems to be going at a tolerable speed. Um, let's say you already have an Android device. You can use the same email you use on your Android device to link up all of your purchases and you can use cloud storage to switch between game saves to where you could play Bloons Tower Defense 6 for example both at home or when you're out and about and your data will save over. So after this updates we will close the game out now let it update and we will be back when it's updated. Okay so now that it's updated just like normal you will hit open it will reopen the app, and also it gives you a notification when it's updated if they are bigger, but it, they normally won't be because phone games are pretty tiny. And it will relaunch and open just like normal, and now you can play the games on your device. If you have any questions, put in the comment section below. Pretty much the actual downloading of the app process, Bluestacks, um, is shown on the website, and then it's just like a regular device. So I will see everybody next time.